Hello YouTube model community. Phil here at Horton's Hot Rod Shop. Okay, this is my last week's uh, state sale haul. Uh, for the most part, there's one or two there that are from this week, but most of this is from last week. Uh, let's see, we'll start at the bottom over here. The Barracuda on the bottom, Killer Cuda. That's a complete kit, wrong decals with it. The Hemi Hunter down there has the LA Dart decals in it, but it's a complete kit. <clears throat> the Corvette Pro Street is a sealed kit. The 63 Corvette. It says two plus extras, yeah. It's got some of the it's a convertible. It has the hardtap wagon style roof for it. The Mako Sharks, there's enough, there's three or four cars in each of them boxes. Well, three or four between the two boxes anyway. The 64 vet next to it, or 63 vet, 64, is, there's two or three bodies in there, maybe four. The flamethrower box that is kind of rough has three cars in it. <clears throat> the Firebird is a complete kit. The Mustang under it is actually another 68 Firebird. There's a couple of them in that. The Sundancer is just the box, but it's full of parts, chassis, interiors, things like that for the same car. The Corvette on the bottom is actually more Firebirds. I've already put some of them away. The MPC Camaro over there on the bottom, where in the monogram box, there was three cars in that. One of them happens to be a Grumpy's Toy 71 Camaro. The 66 Impala convertible there has a 67. Impala convertible body in it. The Shelby Cobra is a complete kit. The El Camino 64 box is full of grills, bumpers. Has the a lot of the parts for the 64 in there. Uh, the 66 Corsa. That's in the box. The one right above it is actually a I think it's a 61 Corvair that somebody's customized and painted, so I gotta clean it up and repaint it. But I also picked up a back in the back there, that little Mustang, and a couple others. In the stash, I ended up with a 1 8 scale Corvette, which I got in the other room now. I already moved it. I've done this video once and deleted it. Uh, I went again today and picked up a few more at another estate sale. Uh, ended up getting a Georgia Shaker and a Funny Farmer today, along with that Corvette parts box. Uh, a few others, but in. I got this one, which is a another 60 Buick Invicta convertible. This one has the bumpers, grills, uh, tail lights, rear bumper. It's painted rel rel relatively nice. Body chassis works all done. Super smooth. That one is has no hood, but for what I gave for it, I'm not worried about it. That'll go back with this one back here for now. I also have an extra Buick Invicta body, no hood, just the body for a convertible that I picked up at the estate sale. 
Uh, been trying to finish up the last estate sale car that I'm working on. It's done for the most part. I want to do something with the core support. This one's done with the altered chassis. No flip body. No funny car part. I'm not going to put the flip on it. Put it. If I can get it to focus on it. It has the weirdest distributor setup. Somebody else wired the motor. Plug wires are a little big, but they're there. Distributor comes right out the front in the front of the blower belt, which I've never seen in real life. But it's that way on both cars. So I started doing... I painted this one silver this morning. And clear orange over top of it. Uh, got the roll bar all painted. Chassis pan painted black. Interior paintings all painted black. Uh, got the motor painted black. Core supports painted. This one actually has the hinge for the flip body. I'm going to paint the seat yet. That I can do by hand. I don't know if I can get the detail on that one. Come on. Yeah, you can't see the detail on it too good. Oh, there we go. It's got a really cool diamond pattern in it. The rest of the stuff for that one's in the box. So that one won't take long. Uh, but today I also picked up this one at the estate sale. Pretty good buy. Chevelle there that come from the state sale last week. Now the Street Demon there, the Dart Hemi, the Orange Crate, uh, them all come from a, a yard sale today. Stopped and we had them. Got one more, but I don't know where I put that one. I think it's in the other room that I picked up over there. So, uh, orange crate is sealed. That street demon's sedan is sealed. The dart is sealed. Everything I got at the yard sale is sealed. Them I picked up at a, eh, I'd say just a decent price, not a great price. Most of the ones from the art or the estate sales I've been getting at a really good price. So, uh, all right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up. I know I didn't make a video last week, I did, but I didn't get it put out, I ended up deleting it. It's too dark, too quiet. <clears throat> so, I also picked up a 60 Chrysler Imperial along with that gold one there. When everything went to like half price at the state sale, so couldn't go wrong on either one of them. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, maybe the next video I'll get the Corvettes that I end up with. I ended up with a 1 16th scale, 1 12th scale, and the 1 8th scale. 1 8th scale monogram kit. Looks to be complete. Untouched. Plastic is still shiny. <clears throat> Box is in really good shape other than the fact somebody wrote on in front of it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one yet. Maybe when I retire, I'll be have to put the old big kits together. I don't know. When the eyes go. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to put on this one for a name. 
but we'll see. I want to thank all my subscribers. Uh, and thank everybody who comments. New and old. Mm. Alright guys, have a good one.